Hi everyone, today I'd like to talk about this company that's in our portfolio, which is Canada Goose. Canada Goose, its symbol is G-O-O-S, and it has been a very interesting company to watch. Um, the reason it's interesting is because it's price action, right? So let's, let me take a look at this. So uh, Canada Goose is listed on both New York Stock Exchange and Toronto Stock Exchange. And since its IPO in early 2017, the performance has been amazing until maybe June 2018. And um, since June 2018, we've been having this kind of really zigzagging uh, price action in Canada Goose. Uh, in particular, we have this huge fall from you know $69 level to $40 level and we also have this another kind of gap down one day gap down of more than 30% um, around from 51 to 33 right and these are some really huge moves along this way and um, the price action just being so volatile And so, again, um, the Canada Goose reached a kind of a tipping point around June 2018. The, the reason behind that is the, uh, you know, the bank capital um, announced they were going to sell more In June 2020, uh, 20th, 2018, they announced that they're going to sell, start selling a large stake of Canada Goose. And uh, uh, for, for many of you, you guys don't know about Bank Capital, is that Canada Goose back in 2013 actually sold a majority stake to Bank Capital uh, so that the Canada Goose can have the um, necessary equity, sorry, not equity, necessary investment so they can invest in, and expand their business. And Bank Capital, um, it's basically, I think the 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 market manipulator be behind this huge rally since IPO because they want to push the stock to a certain level so they can actually liquidate their large holdings. And unfortunately, I mean, fortunately for a lot of us, um, when the bank capital announced this move, we we saw this you know this as a huge sign as a topping of this particular uh, stock. And we actually uh, basically start liquidating our position back in uh, June to you know December 2018, and now it's been almost a year since December 2018. We're at the uh, November 2019. It seems that the stock has not recovered since uh, it's been you know more than a year and a half, um, and we're still looking at the stock, uh, and. And we think that there's going to be a huge move um, on, um, on with Canada Goose, um, and this move we actually think is going to be on the downside. So let me explain. Um, you can see that here, the uh, Canada Goose right now is still in a distribution, right? Um, just do some you know simple technical analysis. Again, fundamentally, Canada Goose, our valuation on Canada Goose is about, uh, the fair value is about $24, $25-ish, right here. And uh, technically speaking, uh, by looking at a Canada Goose, you can see that uh, Bank Capital or any other large shareholders, they're being uh, dumping the stock for, you know, almost a year between 2018 their announcement to 2019 and May. And you can see that the dumping, <laughs> they didn't stop dumping. There's no insider buying. And the, the stock basically craters uh, in June 2019. And then we have this kind of another distribution going on, which a kind of a triangle pattern where the price volatility is getting smaller and smaller. And, and tomorrow is going to be an earning um, of the second quarter of 2020 earning physical quarter right so it's going to be um, the financials from before september 2019 that's going to be reported um, 
which is going to be tomorrow, for tomorrow morning before the market opens. I think that's a opportunity for a huge move um, for Canada Goose, and that's going to trigger a fairly huge move. And we think that move is going to be towards the downside. Actually, we think it's going to be another gap down to a to the maybe a thirty dollar level, maybe another twenty percent one day move for Canada Goose. We did not anticipate this one, but this one that's coming up, we are thinking we did take a short position. Um, we, we, I mean, we did buy some put options to take advantage of the opportunity. The reason we buy put option is because downside is covered, right? Um, you know, the, the most we can lose is the value of put option we, we bought. And uh, we didn't want to buy a, we didn't want to short the stock directly. It's because I mean, if we are wrong, uh, this thing could be moving up, you know, pre-market, and we wouldn't have the liquidity to get out. Um, but we think the the chance of this going down by a huge percentage point tomorrow is going to be fairly high, and um, and um, it's actually pretty wise to buy some put option before the earning this time. Um, just give us an example of the similar, you know, history patterns. That I mean, this pattern has been been repeated many, many times, and we are we were in the you know the first stage, you know, second stage, third stage, different stage of stock, uh, the, the particular stock, and we know this stage is absolutely distribution because you know the large uh, insiders are selling. Um, we know that the stock hasn't reached a stage of capitula uh, capitulation, uh, capitulation in terms of you know um, you know the the. The public is getting completely screwed. Uh, the public would, you know, they're forced to sell. That's the stage of capitulation. Capitulation. I think that price level has to be much lower than than this level for some of the for the for the the, the general market to sell, so that the uh, smart money can come in and buy a cheap again, and then the the, the stock gonna rally back up to to its uh, kind of fair value. Although we're giving the fair value to be twenty, thirty, uh, twenty-five dollars, but I mean the market fair value is probably much higher than that. Um, just give you, for example, of uh, stocks that, that have behaved similar to this. For example, uh, TripAdvisor, right? TripAdvisor has a multi-year uh, downtrend. You can see that it rallied uh, initially, like kind of goose. It, it topped out. Has a multi as a one year or two year distribution and it, it came down just like Canada Goose, you can see that uh, to this level and uh, imagine you were you were holding the stock here um, you know the smart money has dumped already um, and uh, you thought this you know another earning could bring this back up maybe it's consolidation we're gonna have another bull market uh, in this particular stock tripwiser but no Right, we have a huge gap down after the earning, actually on that day of earning. And this kind of thing happens over and over in the stock market history. And the history does repeat, maybe not the exact same way, but it repeats quite often. And we think that this, this point um, is actually a very high prob probable trade. And it's, it's actually worth us to take a, take a directional, to, directional bet. On Canada Goose, and uh, yeah, so here it is uh, about Canada Goose. Um, and thanks for watching. Let's see you about uh, tomorrow.